Hey Exoticals! So, today's video, I just wanted to share some of my beauty hacks and secrets. More specifically, how I maintain my golden complexion during the summer months. Because I don't tan when I'm in the sun. Like, I can be standing in the sun for, I don't know how long it takes for you to get even a little bit of a tan. But, what I do to maintain my golden skin complexion is a few things. And disclaimer, this is a skin lightening video. I am one of the light skins that, that do partake in skin lightening products such as Kojic Acid, Glutathione, NAC, NAC, that's how you say it. I take MSM and vitamin C and I use a, a topical lotion, but it's not, it doesn't have any skin bleaching products in it i'm gonna just put on the screen what i actually use and this lotion it just maintains my skin complexion so i don't have any sun damage or discoloration because my goal was always to have an even complexion it's not necessarily about getting lighter skinned it's more about evening out my skin complexion in total because I have the type of skin complexion where it's like, okay, so like my legs are super light, but then you get up to my stomach area and it starts to turn a lot, like a caramel brown. And then as you go up to my titties, my titties are light skin. And then you get to my arms, my forearms are more caramel brown. And then my inner arm is light. So, I partake, I partake in all of these lightening products from Kojic Acid, Glutathione, all of that stuff just to maintain my skin complexion because it is okay to love being light skin. It is because it's the color that you are. I'm going to put a picture on the screen of what color I was born just for reference. I'm not changing my skin complexion from one complexion to another. I'm just using skin lightening products to maintain my skin complexion throughout the summer months because let me tell you i live in california in la and let me tell you it's been like a hundred it's been a hundred degrees all week or higher and there's no clouds in the sky it is hot out here like every other day on the news i'm hearing somebody's leaving there's a kid in the car and the kid died because they got hot in the car like people are are insane for doing that because it is super hot. I don't even know how you can stand in the car for five minutes. I mean, sit in the car for five minutes out here. And you're going to have a baby. Like, But I digress. It's just hot. And I like my skin complexion. I really do. I'll put um, a few pictures of people who have my similar skin tone. I have like a, uh, a caramel, like a, I guess like a light brown, almost like carry what's her name carrie hilson yeah i know how her complexion looks like she has like the golden undertone so like my fancy shade is 330 and i can maintain that skin shade throughout the entire year even the summer months and all i do i take a certain amount of each pill a day every day a certain amount and i also incorporate other supplements that cater to my skin's overall health because that's important so i add hyaluronic acid co collagen type 5 all type 5 and i what else do i add there's something else there's something else biotin and i incorporate all of these products into my daily regimen so it's a lot of supplements i'm taking a day but it helps me maintain not only my skin complexion, but my usefulness too. Like, I swear to God, if, <laughs> like, I wish I could show y'all how I look so bad. But for my safety and what I talk about on here, and I want to keep it all the way raw with y'all, I have to keep myself anonymous because I have a kid and people are crazy out there. People will find you and harass you and stuff. I wish I could show my face, but because of the controversial stuff that I am choosing to talk about, 
and people who I'm talking about in my own personal life, I don't want to put them on blast. So it's just a protection thing. But I swear, I, I swear, y'all, if I could show y'all what I look like, I look like I'm, I get mistaken for 18, 19. Like even when I was in acting school, my one of my acting coaches, because we have, like when you're acting, you're put into an age range. And when my instructor was asking us as students, like, what age range do you think you would fall into? I would, I had put for myself between, I even gave myself, I said 16 to maybe 35 because I'm 32 now. So I put 18 to 35 or 16 to 35 or something like that, right? But then my acting coach looked at me like, girl, no. Your age range is 16 to 21. I don't even think she said 21. That sounds too high. Because the, when she said it to me, I was like, I look that young, though. So it was like between 16 or 18 or 19. Like, teenager roles. I, she said I can only pull off teenager roles. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I don't... <laughs> she said those are the only roles that I can pull off with my face. So that's how young I look. So... I look like Holly Bailey. Like if, like me and her could play sisters, I'm trying to tell you. Because I've never seen anybody with my phenotype until she came on the scene. Well, somebody came close, which was fancy from the Jamie Foxx show. But I feel like Holly Bailey just, she's right on the dot with how I look. As far as my eyes and everything. Like it's weird. Like I have a, I have a twin finally. That's so crazy. But anyway... Yeah, so, and also, not only do I take these supplements, I, I incorporate the topical lotion that I showed you guys for sun damage, but I also use a, a sunscreen. I use SPF 100 or 70. So yeah, it's okay to skin lightening if that's what you prefer to do. I am not ashamed or afraid to talk about this because I'm not. I'm just not. It's nothing to be ashamed of. People tan every day, but when you lighten, it's a problem all of a sudden. But it's, but it's just one of those things. Like, you just got to do you. Whatever makes you happy because it's your body. You don't live for other people. Who cares what other people think? People aren't even happy with how they look. But people are so worried about the next person's opinions that they don't even do things to make them happy and make them feel good and what they prefer. I prefer my skin complexion, and that's what it is. I don't want to get any lighter. I don't want to get any darker. I want to maintain my skin complexion. So these are the things that I do to maintain my skin complexion. If I feel like I'm getting too light, then I'll... I'll cut my supplements, like I'll skip a day or two. Sometimes I'll even skip three days of taking supplements or doing any lightening at all, just because I'm not trying to get lighter or darker. I'm trying to maintain my golden skin complexion because I love my skin complexion. It's called self-esteem. I love how I look. And this is I was born lighter than how I am now. And, you know... Who cares what people think? I know I don't care. People just, it's something about the light skin that people just obsess over. And it's like this big deal. It's like, it's like this, there's a bunch of gatekeepers when it comes to light skin. And I just don't understand it. It's just a skin color, but it's a pretty skin color. So I understand. That's why I want to maintain mine. Because I just, I see in the mirror how pretty it, it glows in the sun and everything. It, like, I love my skin, and I just want to maintain it. That's it. Because I noticed when I was younger and I would go outside and I wasn't doing this, I would get, you know, a little tan. And this color, I was already, like, like I told y'all earlier, like, the discoloration. Like, certain parts of my body is lighter than the other. And I just wanted to even out my skin complexion. And that's what I did, and I'm just trying to maintain that now. Like, I would take breaks when I felt like I was getting too light. I would even go to the uh, clinic up the street from my house and get glutathione. Uh, the Not the IV, but the, the injection. What is the shot called? 
I would get glutathione shots once a week with vitamin C because they say vitamin C helps absorb it, glutathione. So it's a whole science behind it. But yeah, I'm not ashamed to tell y'all my beauty secrets. That's what I'm here for. And this is a space for us lighter skinned women, exotical women, darker skinned exotical women, of course, as well. But, you know, I can only relate to the lighter skin experience. So, but, you know, this is what this whole platform is for. So we can just talk about being light skinned. It's okay. Like, for so many years, people used to make lighter skinned people like myself feel guilty for either being too pretty or being light skin or it's like there's this stigma when it comes to the word light skin it's like this thing like i don't understand it but i guess i do understand it because uh you know i look in the mirror every day and hey i'm trying to maintain this color too so i ain't mad at it you know but yeah i just wanted to come in here and share my seat share some of my beauty secrets with y'all like, let me tell you guys, I've been outside. I just left a birthday party, and we've been out there for, like, four hours in the sun. And I came home. I would expect some type of a tan line when I take out, when I take off my uh, shirt, right? Uh, nothing. Absolutely no tan line. And I, I wasn't in the shade or anything. So, I mean, they say glutathione is, like, a, a sun repellent or something. I don't even know. But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to get on here and share, you, share this with you guys. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you have any questions, just hit me up. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for listening. Comment in the comments if you guys want me to make more videos on my exact regimen and what I do on a daily basis. Because it's a daily lifestyle to maintain. So if you guys really want to know, let me know in the comments. Because it is a routine to maintain, to take supplements every day, to exfoliate twice a week, sometimes get injection shots. So just to maintain your color or to even lighten a little bit, whatever your prerogative, prerogative, blah, blah, I hate it. But yeah, so just do you. But I can show you guys some tricks and tips if y'all really are interested.